Hey everyone, Phil Monteleone, The Book Peddler here. Please, if you haven't, like and subscribe to my YouTube channel, The Book Peddler. And as I put out videos once a week on different picks that I have, um, you know, book reviews, in-store, out-store activity. And I've even made a couple videos on how I sell particular books and items. <clears throat> In this one, I just wanted to show a little update. Um, I'm going to link up the card above if you're interested. I did a video on are your magazines worth money and how I sell them. And it's it's working for me. It's uh, this uh, weekend. I'll show you the sales that I have boxed up and something that I'm doing a little different actually to include in the shipment. So I'll take you here right now. First, we'll start off with a little a little book here. I sold uh, Black Beauty uh, first edition. I used to this uh, publishing company, and what I, I sold that for sixty five. It's going to a woman in Arizona. What I've been doing is printing out these uh, these letters here. So it says, "Thank you, Vanessa Bastante, for your purchase. I appreciate your business and hope you enjoy the book. If you have time to leave feedback, it would be much appreciated." I own a little bookshop in Smithville Flats, New York, called The Book Peddler. If you're interested, you can find my business page on Facebook. I also have a YouTube channel called The Book Peddler. I film book picks, in-store, out-store activity, and do book reviews. If you like and subscribe to my pages, it helps me greatly in promoting my store and in helping to grow my business. Thanks thanks again. Hope to do business with you in the future, Phil Montalion. With my hours and whatnot. And you know, the thing is... The, th the thing is, is that um, 80% of my business is online and I haven't really properly um, reached out to these people as much as I should be. I'll have repeat customers constantly. They obviously like dealing with me and they like the deals that they're getting. And so I decided to include a little letter in, in a little thing that I'll probably do in the future is put a little number up on it, um, like a, like of what they bought or something so because all this stuff is 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 on the seller site where they're from who they are and maybe you know if you if you uh, buy something again you send me that number make it very simple for them because people don't like going out of their way to do things to where they'll get a percentage off of their next buy through online and of course it can only help in promotion purposes and trying to grow a youtube channel my facebook and whatnot so any opportunity should be used and it's something i've neglected but i'm now trying to get a get a hold on so um anyhow let's see these other packages so this one under it is um this is going to malone new york and it's the uh field and stream magazines it's a chunk of them some of them i've sold individually for 50 bucks this was a uh, a lot of 10 and i sold them for 95 dollars to malone new york the other ones I, sh I that I showed is I, I sold, these are extremely heavy. These are the small farmer's journals, and these are going up to Canada. This box weighs over 60 pounds, and the same buyer bought this stack of the 2000s. Unfortunately, I couldn't combine them because the post office only allows up to 70 pounds packaging, and this would have been over, over 100, I believe. So, you know, a lot of weight there. But uh, I got 150 for this one and 100 for this one, and currently I have I'm trying to work a deal on a couple Mark Twain first editions, so it's coming along. Um, but yeah, it took quite a while to package that one. It's a big sucker. But this is this is basically the majority of my business. Um, sometimes, sometimes you know weekends will be good in the shop, and people are always asking, is it worth having a physical location and so far my experience now five years been in it is uh yes it is because as you can look back in other videos you start seeing some of the stuff that's coming into the doors um that i didn't expect to to come in the doors from this surrounding area i mean these all these magazines did that made the sale and um i even have customers you know they'll come in just see how i'm doing then they, they they just I don't know. They like hanging out and chatting. I love them. And they've given me recommendations. I went on big picks. So this store kind of acts as like a beacon um, to to the surrounding area when it comes to books. And and it is beneficial for me to have a shop because I get the material. And now my my book sales in shop, it, it varies. It's, it's always going up percentage wise every year. This year, my online numbers increase 30% in sales. 
which is excellent. So I'm on the right path. And that's taken like two and a half months off of the online. So um, I found this to be working the best. And I'm going to try to start um, connecting more with these people that are that are around the country. Because I've even had people from other areas of the country call me to go on picks out of state. Um, so I'm going to hone in more on it. So yeah, I thought I'd make a quick video. Just show you some of the sales that I made the last two days, and uh, today's Sunday, so I'll ship them out tomorrow, Monday, and um, just kind of my little thoughts, I guess, on on having a physical location and and how great the the internet has been for me because it's it's actually kept me alive and in business. I can't count on a small community to to support that, so I got to go elsewhere. But um, anyhow, I hope you enjoyed the video. A little quick inside look on a little couple things i'm doing differently and just to show you some of the sales and then um, with that being said again please like and subscribe if you haven't and uh, until next time we'll see you guys